I think the Lilly Ledbetter case was an important moment for the uh, pay equity movement. For many years, pay equity had been neglected in legal circles, certainly, but I think also in public policy. I've been teaching employment discrimination since the late 1990s and um, have noticed over time a decreasing importance about that topic. The, the leading employment discrimination casebook that I use um, had even dropped pay discrimination as a topic in the casebook. And when the Lily Ledbetter case came along in 2007, I think no one expected how much it would galvanize the equal pay movement. You know, the case itself involved a rather narrow procedural issue about the statute of limitations, but it became much bigger than that as the case gained public attention. And it turns out Lily Ledbetter became the perfect poster child of the pay equity movement. It was very difficult to dismiss her as uh, simply a complainer or someone who had chosen a different path and ended up making less money. The case really resonated with people because here was this grandmother who had spent her career um, working in a very difficult job, a male-dominated job, male-dominated industry, and uh, she convinced a jury in rural Alabama that the reason for her low pay was because of discrimination. That jury awarded the highest amount of punitive damages allowable under law. And when the Supreme Court took away that victory, uh, it became a real touchstone for the pay equity movement, for people to see that that kind of discrimination still happens and that there are gaps in the law that don't fully remedy it.